welcome to a talk IT tutorial. So this one's going to be a simple Java game. Uh, we're going to be doing Lab 4 this time, server creation. So we've done the, the client GUI last time. Now we're going to be moving on to the server GUI and the server logic. So just open this one up. So as I've just said, we're going to be jumping straight in on the server. Um, it's going to be the same type of thing. We're going to have a, a console input for this at the moment. Um, I I think this is something that you'll be able to do. You can turn this into a graphical user interface much later. Um, but I think throughout this application, I'm just going to keep it as a client, uh, say client, uh, a console application for the the server creation, um, because it all it effectively does is just read in a port and start up the server. So, client GUI, buffer reader, I/O exception, input stream reader, same type of business as before. So server GUI, so we import those. Uh, we have a buffer reader, a server port, uh, a boolean for whether it's been created. We say that's false at the moment. And then we have something called server logic. So this is one of our classes. So we'll just put those in at the moment. Uh, and then we have our constructor for it. So what this does is just say, Please enter a port and then it sets that as the server port for that class or for the instance, sorry. Um, control Shift F to format everything. Save that. Uh, and then the main, so this sets up the server object. So as you can see, this is all very simple. It's very similar to the client GUI at the moment. server GUI so it throws a number format exception and IO exception so this is something that we're going to be dealing with uh, in a second but at the moment just leave it for now um, and we're going to move on to the uh, server logic and it will fix itself as we work away through this lab so that is the server GUI so now we're going to have the server logic um, so this is what allows the client to join and then we can modify the main method of the server GUI to work with this. So this is hence why we've got the error. So in server logic we have our variables. These would be the server socket, a game, a port number. So let's input, import all of this into our server logic. So we're going to be using, we're going to have an IO exception, server socket. Uh, a normal socket pass exception and then we're also going to have our game logic as well so we can actually use that a port value uh, a game logic so that's our, our game effectively we're going to be setting to null and then a server socket so this is going to allow us to talk over the internet let's just whack that all in here cool no issues there so our constructor so it's what it does is it's a server logic it takes in a port value it sets that it creates a new server socket using that port value uh, it prints out that it started the server and it uh, uh, it'll uh, initialize our game object as well um, using a map that we define and we're going to just call this a uh, default map for now so let's put that in save that um, so I've put a little comment there use one map uh, which is the default or you can implement a file chooser at this point when you start it up uh, as you can see it's it's not happy it's saying new game logic we've created that class but we haven't created the constructor for it um, so we're just gonna press the create constructor in game logic there for that um, just to sort of let that be a little bit happy at the moment so we will now now add two methods wait for players and kill wait for, wait for players will enter a loop and just wait for clients to connect and we'll initialize them and um, what we're going to do is put them on something called a client thread um, which I won't go into too much detail now because that's what the next lab is all about um, but this comes into the whole idea of multi-threading so we need to create a new thread for each client so that we can create like effectively create an object for them inside the server world 
So we add those two here into our server logic. Split that up and put it in here. So you can see it's saying that I don't have a clue what this client cred thing is. Um, we haven't created it yet, um, and we'll be doing that in the next lab. So I'm going to skip over that. So this error will will move on. It well move on. It will not. It will no longer be there when we create the new class for this. So wait for players. It comes in while true. So it's just in a constant loop. Um, accept anything and call it new socket a client so a client has arrived start the thread for the client number um, and then for so we've got the client number being one so it's going to be one at the moment client thread task equals new client thread client game client number I'll go on to how that works a little bit later increment client number and then we start that new thread so again look at the tutorial about multi-threading if you need any help on that um, and then kill effectively server socket dot close so this is uh, what happens when the client leaves we need to close that socket or uh, we just need to close the, the whole server socket when the we want to actually stop the whole server sorry Okay, so now we can go back to server GUI and modify our main method to work with this. So as you remember, I said it was creating an error at the start um, and it won't be any longer when we do this. So close that, control shift F. So at the moment it's a, uh, trying to work out why that's not too happy at all we can get rid of the pass exception for now oh just import there we go so we need to import the pass exception ah I know okay okay let's uh back this up because effectively I've made a, a bit of a mistake there and that needs to go inside here inside the method um, and obviously not just delete the main uh, import the pass exception unreachable okay so it's never thrown at the moment uh, so we can just remove that catch clause it'll probably come in a little bit later when we actually use that so while not created so at the moment created is false while not so it's true try this so try and create the server try and create a, a new server logic and then what we want to do is enter the the wait for players which is obviously an infinite loop and it'll just constantly start that start that app and it'll just let let us receive players obviously once that finishes um, then it hit the finally on the try catch loop so something will always be be run if server logic is not equal to null so it has been started up um, then we want to kill it so we we close that socket it's that simple um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, move on to lab 5 where we'll get rid of that error and we'll start going to client thread uh, which is obviously the multi-threading side of things and it gets a little bit more complex. Anyway, thank you for listening.